Hey everyone, it's Mike here. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm here in Philadelphia and I'm sitting here with... Shake here. I'm the Blue Ranger for the uh, Philadelphia Pioneers cosplay group. So, um, as all of you know, I'm a huge fan of the Power Rangers and have been uh, since I was uh, probably a little like extra large. Now I'm much larger than that. But uh, anyway, yeah, so me and Shakir, uh, we got in contact over uh, Facebook and uh, he's a Power Ranger fan, I'm a Power Ranger fan, and uh, we decided to uh, meet up in Philadelphia. And so, yeah, so uh, Shakir, um, how, how the is it that well let's see what age did you get interested in uh, power rangers um i got interested in when i was five i remember my mom me and my mom went to a mall and she picked up this 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 v, remember v, uh, vcr vcr was popular back then and i had she had brought me a vhs of the power rangers movie so when I watched it, I really liked it, and I used to run the tape all the time, like watched it all the time. And then the next day, I had came home from school, and I didn't know that they had a show. I just thought it was a movie. So when the show came out, I watched it, and I watched every single episode of Mighty Morphin, and, and Zeal was getting ready to come out at that time. So that's how I had gotten into it. Awesome. Okay. So, um, what age were you when you decided, like, hey, I think I could do a cosplay of this? I was 21. I'm 22 now. I was 21. Alright, cool. Yeah. So, um, is, uh, is it like a lot of like searching for stuff online or is it like actual, you know, like It's a lot of searching. Or, it's a lot it? of shops that you can go to, but if you want to get everything together, the good place to go to is Key Cosplay. And a key cosplay. Alright, and I'll have a link to that in the description below. And, I, and it's also going on Shakir's channel as well. So uh, yeah. I'm sure that the link to Anarchy will be uh, down below. Uh, so, um, who, who are some of your cosplayer influences? Um, Meemuck713, Dan Dirty Go Julia, uh, Ivy Doom Kitty, Eric the Smoke Moore, who is a part of the Philadelphia Bar Rangers. He's the Black Ranger. Shout out to him. Um, yeah, that's about it. Oh, so, what all does a Power Ranger cosplay consist of? The helmet, under the cuffs, boots, suit, and a belt. And right here we have the uh, helmet. Uh, of course, this is the Blue Ranger, uh, also known as the character of Billy uh, from Mighty Morphin. Um, so, if somebody out there was interested in doing a Power Ranger cosplay, about how much would it set them back? How much would it be? Yeah. Um, if you go to any cosplay, it would be around, if you get a suit like uh, Mighty Morphin or Zeo, that'll probably cost you like $800. But if you get a Ranger like uh, Magnet Defender or a Cyber Rangers or like a Red Ranger, like with a Battleizer, that's going to cost you like $1,000. But me, I have from us and Etsy.com for $230. i am looking forward to buying another helmet from him, but he has kind of like a contact problem, like you can't really get into contact with him. So when I get ready to get the other helmet, which was the metallic, if anybody remember in Mighty Morphin when they had yep. the metallic armor? The metallic armor, yeah. I want the metallic Blue Ranger helmet. So hopefully when I get it, he'll be in contact. That would be really, really cool. Yeah. Um, Right there at the very end of that series, um, you know, it start, started getting you know, really cool. You know, you got, you know, like Master Vile and his evil plot and the whole, you know, armor that just looked so awesome. They're nice and shiny and all that. So, yeah. So, um, so um, I'm just going to, all right, if we uh, uh, see the suit. Yes. Uh, suit itself. Also, guys, the, 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 these are really nice quality. This is a nice leather, and I mean, I mean, you know, like the longest time, I thought these were always like, like a, um, printed on there, but it's actually uh, sewn on, and it looks really, really nice. It's very well done. You got the zipper in the back, which is uh, show accurate. So. I got these, these the, uh, 
through to a website called hairstyle.com. They have a lot of uh, cosplays there. I'm looking forward to getting two Spider-Man suits from there. And the boots cost me $62. I, they came uh, from China. So yeah, these came from hairstyle.com. I have the cuffs and the gloves, which cost me $49. And I got them from colorsuits.com. Uh, and the blaster right here, which came from uh, eBay. I remember a funny story. I had got the long one. I had got the 2010 version, which was the smaller version. It was like for like little kids. So, with the one that I was actually supposed to buy was the vintage one, which I didn't know. So, I had got it now. This toy is from 1993? 1991. 1991, yeah, so, I mean, it is a, 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 a really nice piece to have if you are a Power Ranger fan. I have the movie version of The Morpher, which came from ET.com by a guy named Bleep Lock. Bleep Lock something, I forgot what his whole name was. He came from ET.com, this was 30. And I also got this from Bleep Lop. Uh, I can't remember his name. It was Bleep Lop something. But this came from him, which was also on uh, BT.com. And this is the buckle which goes onto the belt of the suit. Which I have not gotten yet. Yeah. Same. Same. And here's the suit right here. I got this from Colorsuits.com as well. This was $72, and they had them in small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large. They only have the Mighty Morphin um, suits, so you're looking to buy like Lost. They also have Lost Galaxy, too. So, they have Lost Galaxy. Yeah, they have Lost Galaxy suits as well, so if you want to get a cheaper Mighty Morphin suit, this is the best way to go. And as you can see, this is an extra large, but from the damage on top of it, Something told me that I should have had got a bigger size. Yeah. So if you're looking for one and you want one off of color suits, link will be in the description box below. Um, they do run a little small, so you, may, you might want to get one a little bit larger. If you are a much bigger guy like myself, um, your best bet would probably be to either commission Anarchy uh, or um, Halo suit. Um, hey, Halo suits, honestly, I think they look better than Anarchy. They're they're like a nice like foil looking, look really gorgeous. So, uh, so yeah. So that that is it. And uh, I guess for the final piece, you want to uh, show us the, the helmet. The helmet. This has I have gotten this in March or May before uh, WizardCon. I was in time to wear this. Um, when I had got it. I was trying it on, but it didn't. It fits on my head, but it doesn't want to close. So I need to get it extended. And if you notice this crack at the back of it, I was trying it on, and I kept hearing a cracking sound, but I didn't know where it was. So I kept hearing when I put it on, I kept hearing a crack. I'm like, what is that? So when I turned it around, I noticed that this was this crack right here was starting to become more bigger. And this, I had no idea how the way this happened and the paint was starting to come off the clamps. But I'm not really worried about it because I have somebody who's going to fix it and extend it for me, so I should be okay. Alright, uh, so uh, is there any uh, fun... Oh, uh, you know what? One more thing. The uh, communicator. The communicator. Uh, one of the coolest uh, props to ever come out, and that is by uh, Starlight Studios. Correct? Starlight Studios, yes. Yeah, and um, they retail about 60 49 45 45 see, my prices are well. Um, yeah, so um, you guys can check them out on eBay, correct? Yeah. Uh, yeah eBay and, or Etsy.com. Yeah. And they have all of the Rangers there. Uh, um, this one, of course, as you can tell, is, is, is blue. But they've got uh, red, yellow, pink, green, white, uh, black, and gold. And, oh, for the uh, Zeal. Zeal. Yeah, so, yeah, you guys should definitely check that out. You can get your little Power Ranger bling. Uh, so, uh, well, Shakira, I guess uh, to close the interview, um, is it all right if we get a It's Morphin Time? Yes. All right. It's Morphin Time. Triceratops.